Hey, it's Mel and today I'm filming my biannual Bibliothon Summer 2015. Here we are. If you don't know what the biannual Bibliothon is, it's a week-long readathon that a couple booktubers host. I took part in it last year and I really enjoyed it, so I'm gonna do it again. But the biannual Bibliothon has book challenges, so there's like seven of them. And last year, I don't think I did all of them. Maybe I did like six and this year I'm doing even less of the book challenges because I have school next week, which is when it is, starts tomorrow and I've never done a readathon for a week when I had school. So that's going to be interesting and incredibly stressful but I'm just going to tell you what books I'm going to hope to read and I'm going to be showing the books in the order that I am probably going to read them in. The first book is for the challenge read a book that you haven't finished and if I chose one that I put down ages ago with only like 20 pages in then I'd have to put down the book that I'm currently reading and will not finish before tomorrow and then I'll like never get back to it which isn't a good thing so I'm just gonna continue with the book that I'm already reading and that is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. It's like a fantasy book because there's psychics and what the psychics say do come true and it's about a girl called Blue who has been told since she was six that when she kisses her true love he will die and she's 16 now and an aunt that she's never met turns up and tells her that she'll fall in love and Blue doesn't have like the sight so she can't see dead people on St. Mark's or anything but she is in a family of psychics and she amplifies others powers so normally she comes with her mom to do like important stuff so she can't see anything but then one day she can see something and it's a boy and the only reason that someone who doesn't have the sight could see someone who is going to die is if they kill them or they are the love of their life. She saw a boy called Gainsey and then it swaps to her story and then Gainsey's story and then Gainsey's friends who are Adam and Ronan and Noah. I'm really enjoying it and if I put it down then I probably won't pick it up again until like a really long time so I'm gonna keep going with this one. The second book that I am hoping to read in the Bibliothon is Vicious by V.E. Schwab for the challenge of read a book from a genre that you've read least of this year and basically all I've read this year is urban fantasy and contemporary and this is not that. I think it's either sci-fi or superheroes. I don't quite know because no one really explains it when they talk about it. I think it's like mutants like the X-Men or Chat Me or something. Whatever this is I'm gonna read it so. The third book is for the challenge. Choose a book for an issue that you feel strongly about and I chose Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. The first line of the blurb says straight people should have to come out too so this will be good and it has some issues probably and it says that it's John Green and Rainbow Rowell's love child so it's probably gonna be beautiful and adorable and I just got it and I really want to read it so and something strange that I realised while figuring out what book to read next once I finished the last Percy Jackson book that I read before I started The Raven Boys is that this and The Raven Boys both have main characters called Blue and I don't have any other books that do that but these were the two books that I wanted to read next so weird. So this is about a boy called Simon who's 16 and is emailing this person called Blue and he's falling in love with them via email which could be interesting. Then I think someone hacks his email or something and something goes wrong. That's what I got from the blurb so. The fourth and last book that I hope to probably get to is for the challenge a companion novel or novella or prequel and that is for a divergent collection by Veronica Roth. So this fits all of the categories and I should probably get to reading it because 
it's been out for ages and I've had it for ages and my mum has read it but I haven't read it because I couldn't be bothered and I hadn't read Legion but now I have read Legion and it's like the only one I own I think that I could read because the only other one I own is the Bane Chronicles and I just read that this month so I didn't choose to read the group book because that one is Paper Towns and I just read that the other month and another one was reread a book from your childhood and if I had to I would reread the first Harry Potter book because I did read that when I was a kid but I read them in December and that's kind of a long time ago but I just don't feel like Harry Potter at the moment which is weird and of course there is the challenge foreign country book and I'm pretty sure that all of the books take place in America so that counts because I'm not in America and I'm technically not completely American I'm half American and I've only been to America once so America is a foreign country to me I definitely know that the Raven Boys and Four take place in America but I don't know about the others that was all that I wanted to talk to you about today so bye